is this going to drop? Good bay going. She's kind of gone far. Abandoning ship. So I just transferred this colony into a timber beehive box this morning for a client and um, yeah they did an unexpected thing, they absconded. They left all their brood behind, you know I've not really seen it happen like that before. The queen's in here somewhere and um, they just don't like the timber box. Oh, is this going to drop? Okay, let's go and see what we can sort out. Let me see, I think we've got two different bundles here, haven't we? And boom! Woo! And here's our troublemaker. So come on girls, I'm just going to put that queen there, They're little, I dropped them a little bit far from the front gate. That's the way. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop her right in the bottom near the front door. Righto. Let's get a handful going in the front door. Lots of drones. That's the way. That's the way. Alright, now we've got a march going on. Look at that. I'm going to pop the lid on the box so that I feel a little bit more secure going in there. At the moment. That is exactly what we want to see. So I never used my smoker on a swarm until I found the queen. The smoke disrupts their communication pheromones and the queen's pheromone is the magnet that draws them all together. So if I start squirting them with some smoke, that's just disrupting that uh, line of communication and creating chaos. The smoke itself can be quite disruptive. The bees don't really like it. And that's exactly what we can use this smoke for once we've got the, the swarm almost in the box, just a little gentle puff. You can see, you know, there's nothing calm about those bees getting squirted with smoke, but what it will do is it'll encourage them to turn around and run for cover. So I just like to use it as a little herding technique like that. Get around them, not too much, Otherwise, they're just going to take flight. And if you can get, get the smoke in behind them, we can get them walking in the direction we want them to go. So I'm just going to leave these, this box right here until the sun goes down. I'll come back and move it onto one of my hive stands. Tomorrow I'll put an internal feeder inside the box with some sugar syrup. What that does, it allows them to start drawing out comb and that queen can get laying again. She's staying in the cage for three days because I don't trust her. Really don't know what happened today with them absconding out of the timber box. Anyway, I reckon they'll like this one. Nice and cosy. It's one of those new high IQ boxes. They're super insulated and they're super light. The bees seem to really thrive in them and maybe they were just telling me they didn't want the timber box. <laughs> they wanted a poly box. So here we are girls. No excuses. In you go.